Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to connect Oracle database with Visual Studio 2022. So first you are going to check the Oracle that is it installed or not. So let's open the command prompt. And if I write there SQL plus, then you can see here Oracle 11 version that installed. And if I'm going to use a Scott user, give the password, then you can see this is connected with Oracle 11 64 bit operating system. That's what. So, first you need to install Oracle, then in Google search box, write there Oracle SQL Developer Tools for Visual Studio 2022. So, here you can get this site. You can click there. You can get the software from this place or let's go on this oracle.com site. Click this. Then you can see Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio that's available for 17, 19 and 2022. So, click on this uh, with 2022. After that, click on this download. So, software downloads have successfully. So, before I'm going to install, then I'm going to check Visual Studio. Is it there or not? So, here you can see Visual Studio 2022 that's already is there. So, first you need to download and install Visual Studio 2022. After that, here you need to click on this VSIX file and and there you can see Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio 2022. So automatically it's taken enterprise. If community is there, is there then uh, this take community. If professional is there, this take the professional. Okay. After that, click on this install. So this is now modifying Visual Studio Enterprise 2022. Now you can see install complete. Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio 2022. That's done there. Let's click on this close button. After that, let's open this place Visual Studio. And uh, this is opening Microsoft Visual Studio. So you need to click on this create new project. So here you can see all this for automatically detected there. So if not detected there, all language that selected from there, you can select Oracle. Oracle, you can select. Now thereafter, you can use your Oracle database project. This all. Oracle database project version 2. This all you can see. And this is your Visual Basic CRR project using Oracle database. And this is for CSA. So you can use any according to your requirement. So clicking here, Oracle database project. Let's click on this next and click on this create. Now you can see there is another window that's come there Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. So click on this yes, yes button. So here you can see this page that's come there. So what you need to do first, let's uh, do the changes. So they're going to use here Oracle.NET Framework Data Provider for Oracle. This all selected. Thereafter, click on this OK. Then you can see this that's come there. So for our service server name, you should give here ORCL. Or if ORCL that's work, that's fine. Or you should give here XE. So either you can give XE or ORCL. So in my system, ORCL is there. Thereafter, log in with the user. So go log in with the Scott and give the password and after giving this all correct info let's click on this test succeeded click on this ok button and click on this ok then after here or uh, you can see that's come there project and uh, you can see function index package views xml sequence tables you can create there okay or if you want to import the database from the oracle then click on this tools and here click on this connect to database so this is connected with the system 
So let's click here, select Oracle, click on this continue. Again, you need to fill this all detail. So what's here? Connecting with the escort. Let's skip the password and click on this test connection. Click on this OK and here OK. Now you can see all CL or escort that's connected there. Here you can see all the tables that's present. So all tables. So let's use here or see the data inside the EMP table. So here you can see EMP table record that's displaying. Or if you want, then you can so click on this new query. So you can use here so Oracle. Let's select EMP. This is added and let's select TPT. This tools added. And now you can see this is your select of, of from EMP where this is. This is the query that's generated or default query. And here you can see this tools tables are linked with the help of primary key and foreign key or relation. Now after you can choose this Oracle or database tables inside Visual Studio according to your project requirement. So this is how we can install or this is how we can connect Oracle database with Visual Studio 2022. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.